Yo, what's good, YouTube? It is your boy Flyer69 coming to you guys today with episode 6 of the Chicago Blackhawks franchise mode series. And here in this episode, we are going to start the second season of this franchise mode, and we're going to be taking on the New Jersey Devils. And the offseason was a big one for us. We got a couple of very good young prospects that were much, much needed for this team. Our biggest prospect we got was Marco Casper we got him at we traded up the what pick 8 16 yeah we traded up with Montreal took their pick drafted Marco Casper we also drafted Nathan Gauthier and there was another pick uh Saprikin and Holst one of these two were second round I forget which is what he was the second round pick and Saprikin was the first round picks we had three first and a second we had a ton of seconds and everything else so yeah and in free agency we also signed a couple of just a little pug plug and play players we uh re-signed shit i kind of sam Steele we signed we also signed michael raffle Genny shveknikov who could be actually pretty solid for us young ups high upside he's playing what on the second line with borscht and kurashev i mean that's a young line that could be decent and defensively. We also signed Zidane Chara and Gold in the net. It's Lankin and Mrazic. Mrazic dropped off a bit, but if I'm correct, it is his last year of his two, actually two more years on his deal at 4.7. Holy shit. Okay. And Lankin has two years on his deal. And in the minors, we still have Dustin Wolf in the trade with Calgary when we shipped over Dominic Kubelik. So we're in a very, very good spot. And as you guys saw, going into the season, we have four first round picks. And there's really no other need for us to add on to this year's amount. Now, maybe next year, we have only, what, two first round picks? Maybe add on for next year if there's a player that we can trade and get a first out of, potentially. Maybe. I don't know. So let's waste no more time and let's get straight into the first game of the season. All right, it is time for the face-off for the first game of... Oh, shit, I'm playing. Oh, no, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh I don't want to be doing that. Shit, where do I go? I forget. All right, good thing I caught that when I did. But, man, when I tell you I almost shit myself trying to load up the franchise mode just now, I almost shit myself. So what happened was... I accidentally hit simulate game, so I close out NHL to make sure the game doesn't get sim, so I can back out and come back into the mode and watch this game. However, when I come back, one of the files got deleted, so I just kind of shit myself, and I was like, oh no, and then I looked in the load files, there was a backup, so we, <laughs> thankfully, none of the, so we're good, but man, when I tell you, I, I was scared shitless, I, I got scared thinking it was gone. I was, it was, oh man, that was bad. All right, let's see. You got what, Ty Smith bringing up the puck? The Alexander Holtz would have dropped back, feed the dog. Oh my. Oh. Oh, okay, not a good way to start. <laughs> That's not a good way to start the game. Not good at all. Shit. That was a beautiful feed by Holtz, and Dougie just rips it home from the point. <laughs> oh god, this might be a long one. We aren't really doing anything with the puck. Miles Wood. Lose it. Oh, oh, maybe not. He gets it back. Okay, good defense. Elite D there by Vlasic. But Jack Hughes is on the second line, really? Really? He's on that second line? That's crazy. Oh, my. Wow. This this is going to be bad. We're, this is going to be really bad. This is not good. This is not good at all. It's just a... Just right across the crease. Feed the Miles Wood, and he just buries it. Just taps it in. All right. Okay, this ain't gonna be a Lincoln it ain't looking hot. Now there's our defense. Radish. Quick pass to Lavoie. Lavoie. Oh, oh. What was that? That was scuffed as shit. We can't do nothing offensively, man. Holtz with the puck, he's bringing it up. Holtz has got what? Vinny Trocheck. Holtz rebound. All right, good separation there by who is that? Murphy. Reichel, come on, get to Murphy. Murphy, put it on that. All right, do something. Someone do something. Reichel, do something. Do something. Here we go. Taze. Shot. Come on. Bury it. Pulley RV. Oh, that was a chance. He got stick lifted. Okay, here's our chance, guys. Come on, rifle. The Pulley RV. There we go. The beast. Be he's one every time we watch a game, he's always scoring. He's he's always scoring. He's always doing something. He is him. Pulley RV is him. Mercer. The Hughes. Jack Hughes. Miles Wood. Miles Wood. No way. Oh worried me for a second. Alright, Borgstrom, come on. 
or lose the puck. Yeah, all right. Three, two, one, and that is the period. Oh, man, what a period for the Blackhawks. It was so bad to start. The first seven minutes of that period was absolutely terrible for us. We salvaged it later on in the period. We got our goal by Jesse Pugliarvi, absolute beast. But, man, defensively, we are a nightmare. It is bad. Whew. Having them old dinosaurs ain't working, but our time attack's very good. 253 to 151. I got 100% passing. No way. He sure with the puck. He sure to Holtz. He sure gets the rebound and covered, though. Okay. He sure with the unnecessary deke. The brat. Brat gets bodied. Who would he, Who rocked his shit? Uh, that was Reichel. Reichel rocked his shit. That a baby, Reichel. New Jersey's got it in the offensive zone. Ooh, here we go. Good good forward check. Here we go. Boy him. There we go, Kurashev. Take that puck off him. And he loses it. Alright. Oh, oh. Get it back. One Shvaknek off. Almost. Oh, nice face off one. Lavoy! Let's go! Lavoy. Raphael Lavoy with an absolute buried. Let's go. Top shelf. Tie game. Two to two. That's his first goal ever, ain't it? Hello, baby, Raphael. First career goal. Damn right it is. Great face-off draw there by who won that draw? I have no idea, but whoever... Tyler Johnson won it. Absolute beautiful tie-up, and Raphael just took care of it. Way to go. Bro, Vinny Trocek with an amazing deke. Holy shit. The Devils take possession off the face-off. Severson, it's Cherengovich. Oh my god. I was drinking my water. It has the time I'm putting it down. They're already scoring. Whew. It's a high scoring game. There's zero defense being played right now. I'm loving it. Oh, oh, just let him in. Just let him in. Yep, but good save there by Lankin. But phew. no one's playing tight on him. Just lets him go right through the slot and have a shooting lane. Okay, that worked. Come on, Reichel. Oh. Oh, there we go, Reichel. Oh, almost good opportunity. All right, Hughes. Oh, good D there. But uh oh, uh oh, there's a penalty. Oh no, oh no, that ain't good. Well, at least he didn't score on that chance. So I thought for sure when it was just him and Lincoln and one on one, I thought he was scoring. But this ain't good either. Oh boy. Sharangovich, Trocheck, Vinny Trocheck. They're doing absolutely nothing with this power play. Our penalty kill is actually not looking too bad. Nico Heischer. Nico. They're doing literally zero with this power play. Literally nothing. Look at this penalty kill. Oh my. This is great. We're doing. We've done great on that penalty kill. Way to go, boys. I'm proud of that penalty kill unit. Found the backs for you guys. Kill us out. Let's take it to the third. Taze back to Chara. Pull Yarvi. The Taze. Oh, we had an opportunity there with Reichel on the rebound, but good defense with Jersey. And it's the period. All right, very, very solid period for us. I'm very pleased with how that ended. Yeah, we're down one, but that penalty kill was very, very encouraging of what we can potentially maybe make it closer or maybe tie it up and win. Listen, I'm going to be honest. I don't give a damn if we win or lose because we lose. We're tanking. We're getting Bedard, baby. That's the goal. Blow for Bedard. No way. Oh, I was about to say, if that son of a bitch scores another one. <laughs> Not that time. Look at this scrum here. Kurashev, absolute beast. Here we go. Feisty bastard. The Kurashev, Gany Shevachnikov. This guy, Philip Kurashev. What a beast. Absolute great pressure there. I don't even know who he went against. I don't remember, but man. What a great four-check. Get the puck off the defenseman and do a dish to Shpechnikov for him to bury it. Absolutely. Beautiful. Spot on. That's what we needed. Kurashev. This guy's a beauty. Come on, Kurashev. To Shpechnikov. To Tyler Johnson. Shpechnikov. Oh, he almost buried it. I speak, they listen. Simple as that. Slap. Oh, that was a good chance. Nice slap shot there. All right. As he scored, I don't even remember what happened. I kicked the Elgato and everything just paused and stopped for a second. I thought I lost every, all the footage and everything. No. So let's go back and watch the goal. Uh, so I get a refresher. What the hell happened? Because 
and that everything that just happened was a shit show. Okay, it was Vinny Trocek. He was shitting on our defense. Vlasic doing absolutely nothing. And Lankin, and that's a shot you gotta save, bro. You got Connor Murphy and Alex Vlasic basically doing nothing. They're useless and just... That should have been a save. Easily. Kevin Lankin should have saved that. So now we're down one. Okay. And we got seven and a half minutes left. Alright. Is that actually Michael Raffle in number 20? That's so weird. And we have a penalty called on us. Okay. Oh my. Oh, this ain't good. <laughs> this is not good at all. And who's it on? Michael Raffle, number 20. That is just cursed. I, that's just cursed. Three and a half minutes left, boys. Come on, we gotta get something going here. Even on the penalty kill. Vlasic, bring it up himself. Out of baby. Don't need anyone else. Pull your RV. Alright. Well, at least we got ours. And why is Vlasic pressing up? No idea. Pull your RV. Pull your RV. Pull your RV. Oh, almost. Alright, come on. We got eight seconds left on this penalty kill. Come on, boys. Let's just kill this off. Pull the goalie. Oh, oh, oh. This is cool. Alright, minute 30. The Kurashev. Kurashev. Holy shit, Michael Raffle. Philip Kurashev. Beast. Gets puts the shot on. Gets uh, the rebound to Michael Raffle. And just like that, it is a 4 to 4 game. Holy shit. Philip Kurashev, you deserve a $10 million contract with the way you've been playing. Oh my. 55 seconds left. 4 to 4. This bitch looks like it's going straight to overtime, and there is a penalty. Oh, no. Alright, 49 seconds left. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Char Our penalty kill has been lights out this game, though, so I have faith. Jack Hughes with the puck. Hughes, he sure does nothing. Is that a... Oh, no, it's 5 on 3. Oh, no. Connor Murphy just tripped Nico Heischer. You've got to be shitting me, bro. The team's folding. They're folding in front of our own eyes. They're they're collapsing. No. Poi Arby's taking the face off. You shitting me? He won it, goddammit. I ain't complaining. Uh oh, turn it over by Duncan. Keep Jack Hughes. Oh no. That was that. Yeah, that was. That, I saw that one coming. Oh no. Way to go, Duncan. Keep you old bastard. Jeez. Should have just retired like you did in real life. I just would have took your dead cap hit, honestly. Waste of space. Jesus Christ. And just like that, the Devils are out front by one with 36 seconds remaining. And we are still on the penalty kill for the rest of the game. So, we got to get something going. We're pulling the goalie, so it's going to be five on five. We got to get something out of our ass. We got to get going. Come on, boys. Bowden. The raffle, raffle shot saved, oh boy. Oh, that's probably a goal by Nico Heischer. Empty net. This should be a goal. I don't know why he did not take the shot on. Pull, what a dipshit move by Nico Heischer. Tyler Johnson up to Jesse Pugliarvi. Six seconds. Come on, Pugliarvi. You got it, buddy. Do something. Pull something out your ass. Come on, dude. And that's game. He just sat there with dick in his hand. I mean, Jesus. Oh, all right, well, we lose 5-4 to four in regulation. I mean, it was tied within the last minute, and we just kept absolutely just folded. Too many penalties. Borgstrom and, what was it, Connor Murphy with the trip, and Duncan Keefe just didn't know what to do. Turns over the puck, Jack Hughes finishes, and that's the game. We lose 5-4, but like I said, I'm not going to complain. We're tank, tank for Bedard, basically. It's kind of the mindset this year. We want Bedard pretty badly, but eh, it's whatever. We, we win, some will lose some. If we win, we win. We lose, we lose. We're at that point of the franchise. Once we get a couple years in, I'm going to get pissed when we start losing because I want to try and win. So I'm not going to get too pissed right now, but man, <laughs> Duncan Keefe, what are you doing? But Philip Kurashev is an absolute dog. I can tell you that now. Ooh, I love that guy. All right, now that we're done with the first game of the year, it is time to sim a little bit here. All right, let's sim up this Colorado game, November 11th. Let's see what happens here through the seed. 8-1 loss to Detroit, a loss to Winnipeg. We're 0-3 to start the year. 12-0 dub against Vegas. Oh, good bounce back. Connor Murphy gets hurt with a sore shoulder. All right, what should we do here? Who do we got? to replace uh, Stillman and 
put Vlasic on the first line there, and yep, that looks good. 3-2 shootout loss, 5-2 dub, 3-2 L, 3-2 OTL. I am not happy with the team's performance. I'm be honest here, Jonathan Days. I don't care because we are trying to tank. I see this going more down. And, bro, we are trying to tank. We're blowing the team up. What do you expect? We'll trade you at the deadline if you want out, buddy. All right? Simple as that. We'll trade you. Connor Murphy will plug you back in when we're ready to and when I think you're fully healthy. Peter Mrazek, a broken ankle. He's out for a while. Oh, boy. Who we got in this? Dustin Wolf's an 80 overall. Oh, man. Ooh, he's ready to play right now, but I think he still needs a little bit of seasoning down the minors. A little bit of seasoning. We'll bring him Soderblom or whatever his name is. We'll bring him up. Keep Dustin Wolf down there. Just get a little bit of, a little bit of uh, experience down there, and we'll bring him up. Maybe midway. Maybe a little bit middle of the season. Maybe not right yet. Not yet. Five four dub. All right, we're four seven and two. That's not terrible. <laughs> not bad. What are we? The Flyers and Penguins are struggling down there. The Ducks are doing great. They're 11 and 3. Well, that's one thing I should look at. We have the Ducks pick, the Lightning pick, and the Bruins pick, and our pick. So let's look and see how they're doing. Lightning, they are first in their division, and the Bruins are in a wild card spot. Okay, that's kind of figured. And obviously, we're not doing too hot. We only have 10 points. We should have. How's Vegas doing? Oh, we should have took the Vegas trade. We got their first round pick this year. Oh my god. We'd be, we would have been set. Oh, that that sucks. Sorry, who's our leading point getter? Point per game, Jesse Pugliarvi. Oh my God, what a beauty! Absolutely, and Phil. Oh, my top two favorites, Kurish Evan Pugliarvi. Oh my God, I'm getting a chub right, half chub right now. Oh yes, Evgeny Shvechnikov. What a beautiful signing. Eleven points in thirteen games, six goals, five assists. He's really been working out pretty well for us. Love the signing. He's been doing pretty well. Tyler Johnson, 11. Man, offensively, we're not doing too bad this year. Borgstrom's doing pretty good with 10 points. Duncan Keefe has 9 points and a plus 10. Holy shit. Sam Steele, 8 points. We're actually, offensively, we're not doing bad. So I'm not going to touch the lines because Poyarvi's doing good. Shveknikov's doing good. And these are some young, solid players. I ain't touching them lines because they're doing quite okay for themselves. And... Yeah, the record might not show for it, but it's okay. Uh, Alright, so the guy that's basically replacing Matevi Machikov is a franchise guy in similar style to Mario Lemieux. Okay, so we got to definitely... We need to be top two pick. We need a top two pick because one of these guys can change the course of our franchise and we want one of them badly. So let me go scout real quick. Alright, so now that I did the scouting, I want to look at something real quick. I want to look at two things, actually. I want to look at the goaltending stats for, oh boy, we've been abysmal goaltending. Okay, we've been dog water, alright. And I want to look at our team stats. Alright, where are we at here? Blackhawks. 338 goals for actually the best in our division. Okay, so we're actually scoring this year. And our goals against? Second in the division. Dallas. 391, we're 377. And 11% on the power play, and 84%. Alright, penalty kill were actually not bad. But everything else, goals were doing very good. Defensively, we're abysmal. Goal tending's been not good. So, okay. So, we have a bit, bit of problems going on with this team. Alright, let's sim up to December 10th, basically a month. Sim another month here and see what happens. We need a veteran presence. Uh, no thank you. We, we don't need a veteran presence. We need these young guys to develop a little bit. Yeah, exactly, bitch. Shut up. You're only here for as of right now. And you're probably going to get fired, potentially. 5-2-L, 2 nothing loss. 3-1-W against Winnipeg, and we lose to Jersey again. 6-10-3 so far. We beat Vegas. We're 2-1 win there. All right. A lot of shit's going on here. It's moving very fast. All right. We get an L there against the Kings. They're telling me about the scouting. I'll look at that maybe in a second. And player gets hurt. Replace player. Don't care. And 6-3 dub there against Montreal. Pittsburgh's out of the slums there. 16-8-2. They were at the they were last in the division. Now they're not. So they're bouncing back. We're actually three points out of a playoff spot. Yes, we have some games in hand. And this division does seem to be very soft, very weak. But we're not that far off of a playoff spot. And that's that's saying something. Our division is trash. Horrible. 
Alright, how's the Lightning doing? They're still the best in their division. Bruins are still at a wild card spot, and the Ducks are actually the best team in the league. Holy shit, they're the best team in the league? Who do they got on their team? Why are they so good? Uh, pro Trevor Zegers is a 93, okay. And then they got Evgeny Malkin, okay, that makes sense. Uh, Mason McTavish, defensively, Seth Jones has really been a pull away. Ooh, he's been very good for them, okay. So that trade's been working wonders for them, and John Gibson has been John Gibson. All right, so I can see how they could potentially be the best team. I can see it, all right. Uh, stats, Paul Yarby's still having one hell of a year, 23 points through 26 games. He's been a dog. Jonathan Tays, Kershaw's cooled off a bit, but still a very good year. Shabeknikov, been great. Ah, uh, this is great stuff to see. Very, very good stuff. Um, I say let's sim to the 1st of January, and we'll call it a video. January 1st, and that is a game against the Wild. So we'll watch that game next episode. We'll watch that game January 1st there against the Minnesota Wild next episode. We get a dub there against the Penguins, and we beat the Flyers, we beat the Flames, we beat the Ducks. What is going on? We're actually not that bad. We're on a win streak. <laughs> as we, as I said, we lose to the Toronto Maple Leafs and we drop three in a row to the Leafs, Sharks, and the Kraken. All right, so we end this. We end the sim here at January first. We are 15, 16, and three. We're actually not that bad. And how far are we from a playoff spot? We're literally three points out same amount of games as the wild so this is actually very interesting i want to see some of these guys trade value now that we're actually playing not bad at all and i don't know how to feel about this uh really they're not that high the trade values uh i mean vlasics has gone up but he ain't going nowhere goche hasn't really developed uh pull has gone up curse chefs has gone up uh taze has gone up so we can potentially trade taze at the deadline okay so Preakin he hasn't really developed that much. Okay. Alright. So we do have a couple of good players there that do have, I would say, good trade value. Dustin Wolf has been lighting it up in the AHL. He's been very, very good. Uh, but the problem is if we bring up Kevin Lankin in right now, and I leave it up to the AI, he's not going to be playing every game. It's going to be Kevin Lankin and playing majority of the games, and he's going to outplay by Soderblom here. I mean... In 10 games, he has 4 wins, 2 losses, 1 OT loss, and 9.25 save percentage, and a 2.36 goals against. He's actually been very good. So the 76 overall has been a lot better than Kevin Lankinen, who we just extended in the offseason. Of course. Uh, Contracts-wise, Taze, he's getting paid 13 mil this year. Holy, ooh, okay. Uh, that's nice to know. <laughs> he's getting paid 13 mil. Sheesh. Alright, that's one to see if there's anyone there I wanted. Nope. Okay, alright, so like, thank you guys for watching, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one where we take on the Minnesota Wild.